Let's for a moment say that I have a website here that I wanted to host on a server and I don't want to pay for the server because it's just going to be a small website. It's going to be a static landing page and I have all of the files ready here. I have index.html, I have uh, the CSS and I have the JavaScript and all I need right now is a server to host this website on and I know that I don't want to pay for a server because it's just going to be a very small landing page. Um, so what you can do is use github which is a online repository for the version controlling software called git and github is officially owned by microsoft which is pretty cool that they do that um, but one thing is you can use github to host your personal small website and all you need to do is go to github.com create an account and create a new repository by clicking on this button here and you can name this repository whatever it is that you want it to be named i'm going to call it test website um, test website and then uh, this description is optional i can set it to public i don't mind and you don't need to add any of these so click create repository and now you have a brand new but empty repository on github so uh, what you can do is go to your website files here and create a git repository and then push all of your code to github as a remote but i'm not going to do that for simplicity's sake what you can do is click here uploading an existing file which is much easier because you don't have to touch the terminal to be able to do this so go to your files your website files especially your index.html directory and just drag all of your files into this website All right, the upload is now completed and all you have to do is commit the changes. So what this basically means is that uh, you have to save your changes made to this repository. So I'm just going to leave this as default, which is add files via upload. I'm going to hit commit changes and I'll give it a minute to process my files. And now that this is done, it's complaining that I don't have a readme, but that doesn't matter for this video. So now that we have our code hosted on GitHub, we're going to go to settings and click on pages, which is down here. This is basically GitHub's feature to run a server to host your website that is uh, that has its code hosted at GitHub. So what you're going to do is go to sources and select main. Now, of course, if you're trying to host a project that is already hosted on GitHub, you can select whatever branch that is that you want to host on GitHub pages. So I'm going to leave this as root and hit save. So now you can see that your site is ready to be published to add whatever URL that is. Just click on that and then you'll see that you have a website running on GitHub. Um, for the next video, I'm going to teach you how you can change this URL to be a custom domain name. So if you're interested in changing the URL from your username.github.io into your own domain name for free, of course, um, be sure to check out my next video. I'm going to talk about that.